How's it going, everybody? Rob here. And Chris. Together, we're the Pack Bros. And it's been a while since we've broken some stuff. There hasn't been too much coming out overall that we've been really interested in. SPA came out recently at a pretty mm -hmm. high price tag, but we thought we'd bite the bullet and do a box of Series 2. We found one for a good price. Uh, looking for a variety of young guns in here. We have um, Lundell. We have Mort Cider. We have, what's the other guy from Detroit? I can't remember the name of. I have no idea. It's slipping my mind. Anyways, in any event, oh, Lucas Raymond. Lucas Raymond, that's what we're looking for. Right. Uh, and then we have the canvas of Cole Caulfield, the canvas of all the guys that I just mentioned as well. So hopeful to hit some good young guns in here. I think we were just kind of seriesed out, basically, which yeah. is why we didn't jump on this right away. We did a full block, a full case of Series 1 last year. Uh, that was the yeah. Lafreniere year. We did that a was bunch. To start our journey. Too. Yes, a bunch of series two boxes throughout last year. We did extended series boxes. We did a couple of series one boxes from this year. So I think we're just kind of series out. But we're yeah. gonna try our luck at a box of series two. Haven't done one yet, and would love to share it with you guys. Off the bat, that looks lower. I hope we have enough packs in here. It does look like one's missing. We'll do a little count quickly. Two, four, five. Two, four, five. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, so they added one extra to well, the bottom. I think I might just slid down. Two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it just slid down is what happened. I'm excited. Pick what you like, Chris. Let's take those two right there. For those that don't know already, 24 packs per box, eight cards per pack, chasing the young guns, and lots of other short printed inserts. Kind of product where if you hit, you hit big. It would be cool to get like an exclusive Young Guns. Never pulled one of those yet. That would be pretty awesome. Clear cut Young Guns are nice too. I just read that. And you know I like the clear cuts. We hit a clear cut in our first, the case of Series 1 that we, we opened. Did, yeah. We had a Nick Robertson clear cut Young Gun. And there we go. Diving right into it. So same base card design as Series 1. No surprises there. We're not going to take too much time with that. And starting off with the canvas of Claude Giroux. The newest Ottawa Senator. Well, that's right. A lot of people are being traded right now. A lot have moved around. There's are, a lot of movement. Are, are these cards even going to be accurate in about six months for half of these players? They're already not accurate. <laughs> that quick, huh? Uh, was that it? Checklist? Nope. There, oh, you go. there we go. What is that? Superstar? Honor roll. Honor roll. Okay. Boris Kachuk. Oh, okay. Kachuk, I think. Kachuk. See, I missed opening the packs of series products, but now, after saying that first name, I'm having flashbacks of all <laughs> the mispronounced names that I've had in the past. And I don't know if I'm looking forward to it now. We have... Looks interesting. Nope, just a portrait of Grigory Denisenko, rookie. I do like that portrait design. What's the portrait? Rookies? Yes. Is it only rookies within that portrait subset, or can you get nope. portraits of... All kinds. All kinds. Same with honor roll. There's some rookies in honor roll, too. Okay. Next pack. I'm going to get... Is this our... Oh, no. This is another honor roll of Philip Tomasini. Tomasino. Tomasino, I think I okay. think that might be a rookie, unless it's the second year, I can't remember. All right, no young guns yet, but that's okay. Waiting for the big one. Base, base. Okay, young, guns. young gun. Benoit Olivier. Whoa. Woo? <laughs> Woo? Woo? I'm not the only one having name issues. Well, that's okay. You don't put yes. LX. LX, what is that? I'm going to take my wins where I can. Grooks? Grooks. What is this? A marquee? Yep. Marquee rookie of Jake Neighbors. Cool. Well, I forgot those ones have a little bit of a different texture to it. Yeah, the Opichi okay. ones are more cardboardy. You know, I went to Walmart today, mm -hmm. and I was going to call you if I saw anything good, but I went there, and probably 80% of the card stock was wiped out. Yeah, I believe it. And one of the only blaster boxes I saw there was Opichi. Yeah. For like 35 bucks. Nope. I have a retro marquee rookie. Um, Ooh. Igor Chinnikov. It's a strong name. I like that name. Is he any good? Never heard of him. No, no idea. Probably not. Okay. That's a letdown. Well, okay, I guess I'm going oh, straight okay. to that. Well, you just... Marky just... Rookie. Whatever. Tanner Lejinski? Lejinski? Lejinski, probably. Lejinski? I haven't heard of him either. Why is this pack so rough? I don't know. First time? Okay. Yeah, it feels like it. It's been so long. All right, looking for something interesting here. Ooh! Ooh. It's a Young Guns canvas. Oh. Yeah, look upside down. Who's it going to be? It is Who's upside it? down. It is upside down. Young Guns canvas, which I believe does not count against the count, of Mason McTavish. Not bad. Mason McTavish, I believe, is an Anaheim Duck, if I'm not mistaken. In any event, Mason McTavish, yeah, he's an Anaheim Duck. There you have it. Oh, you can barely see the logo. Mason McTavish, uh, Canadian boy. Do you know where from? No, no, I don't. Is he going to tell us? Oh, never mind. He's from Switzerland. I could have sworn. No, I think he's... I, don't quote me on this. I think he's Greg McTavish, which is a 
former player and sports broadcaster's son, but he was born in Switzerland because McTavish was in the Swiss League when... Yeah. Oh, okay. I think, I think, I think, I think. If I'm thinking of the right story. Let's roll with it. But anyways, that's Youngman's Camp to Mason McTavish. Not a bad hit. Maybe Kristen post-editing can... Um... Yeah, he can confirm. Confirm. Yes. Confirm or deny. Should not count towards the Young Guns count. It's going to be a new segment on our videos. Confirm or deny. <laughs> We're both going to say Are we idiots or not? It is completely speculative. And editing Chris will have to solve the case. My next hit is going to be a Young Gun of Ivan Prosnitov. 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 I'm guessing that's not anything. No. <laughs> All right. Is it possible to get double hits in packs? Is that, is no, that not very much. Not in Series 1. They're pretty tight with it. Except for, if you remember Series 1 last year. Sorry, this is Series 2. If you remember Series 1 last year, I think they put two. When you got a Dazzle, you got something else. I think you're right. But I haven't seen that. Again, editing, Chris. Confirm or deny. More Opeachy stuff. Mark andre Fleury. Just an update card. Uh, that's an update because he was traded to the Chicago Blackhawks. Is he staying there now? No, he re-signed two years with the Minnesota Wild. Okay. He'll be... Uh, I guess I see a little bit of color in this. Yep. What do we got? Oh no, I'm that that's just yeah, the I'm background. Uh French print oh. young gun of Hendrix Lapierre. Well, good to get a French guy in the French print, and I believe that also does not count towards the young that's gun. That's true. Camp. I remember that. It doesn't so, count to the total count, so we could actually still have this could be a what? seven young gun box. Eight. Eight young gun boxes. Six per box. I got the canvas, you got the Oh canvas doesn't count either. I don't think so. Oh boy. This is gonna be great. There we go. I think we're going to get some more heat in this. I'm, I'm feeling good about this box now. I mean, the Young Guns is where the money's at, so hopefully we can get, like, an exclusives or something. That'd be cool. This is a little sticky in here. I don't know. Hey! There we go. That's a big hitter. I told you. I was feeling good about That's it. That's a big hitter. Very nice. Lucas Raymond. I actually pulled him from a single pack that I did on my own not long ago. I think I sold Ooh. for 60 70 bucks. He's your player. So that's a, that's a nice hit. I'm two for two on Lucas Raymond cards. That's wicked. That's really solid. I don't know why all this base is stuck together. Let me just make sure there's nothing else tucked in here. Hey! Oh my NHL passages! <laughs> Steven Stamkos. This is hilarious. I think these passages cards are selling all right. I'm not sure 100%, but... They look um, really good. That, that's So yeah, Stamkos' passages, lightning, 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 lightning. Very nice. <laughs> why would you put him on that card? <laughs> that's supposed to be about players from multiple teams. Look at his journey. Uh, and uh, to answer your question, uh, post that in, Chris, yes, you can get multiple hits per, per pack. Yep. Ima imagine just buying this one pack. Yeah, that one pack you're laughing. Right? Just pulling and these just... packs are what, like five, six bucks? Yeah, it's five to eight bucks, depending where. But imagine that. That would be a steal. That, that's disgusting. That would be an absolute steal. All right, let's see if we can keep this fire going, because I think that's three young guns in a row, two of which don't even count to the total, plus... Plus the, one of the oh top three. All right, let's see if the luck continues. Oh, that's a blue marquee rookie. So could it be numbered? Uh, short printed? I don't. Dawson Mercer. Double check the back. I think that might just be. It's short printed, but I don't think it's numbered. Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. So just a short print marquee rookie. I'm, I'm glad terrible. we're getting these big hits because we've had a lot of Opeachy content in here, and I'm, I don't love that. Yeah, that's true. Base. Base. Young Gun. Young Gun. Uh, Brandon Dehame. Dehame, I assume. Yeah, it looks like we're cooling down a bit. Snap back to reality. There's still two more young guns? At least. When I say it looks like it's going to be a portrait. It is an upper deck rookie portrait of Cole Sillinger. Sillinger? Sillinger? Good to, he's a young guy, rookie. Okay. I need well, to hear the name a couple times before I can tell you. Just nice. We have not breaking up, broken a lot of hockey product lately. That's very true. Although we did do some fire UFC yes. uh, unboxings. And more coming. Dazzler of Brady Kachuk. First Dazzler. I love those Dazzlers. Let's get a more insider to really send this one over the top. I think this might be another portrait scene. Oh no, it's a retro. It's a retro. Retro of Duncan Keith. And it's dinged to the top? Is it? Oh yes, it is. Nah, I'm not even going to bother. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I mean, I'll try. I have a whole order to go send back to them anyways. Sure, yeah, just add to the pot. Yeah, might as well. Not that that card's worth anything. This one's, uh, there's, there's something in there. It's a special. Die cut? It's, I think it's clear. Ooh. Clear cut, I think. Die cut, clear cut? I think it's just a base card. Oh. Of Ryan Hartman. All right. Don't quote me on this. I've, I've bought maybe 10 packs of this product. I haven't bought a single box. I'm pretty sure I pulled this card. Clear already? cut Ryan Hartman already. 
the same which one, is weird the base the ba base clear cut ryan hartman which is weird i gotta double check my pile downstairs is it is it worth something no oh like probably could because it's ryan hartman no it's just weird luck that you got ryan but the, the, the oddity of all the base cards i could have got a clear cut of and i got ryan hartman twice that's pretty in weird. 34 packs that's weird i feel like i should play some like x files music in the background <laughs> during that all right my next pack the hit will be another young gun of john <laughs> It's going to be Jan Yannick. I don't know. Probably. Uh, you're probably right. Yeah. Probably. Well, let's see where he's from. Check. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's probably right. I'll take it. So, we have at least one more young gun coming. Uh, I don't know. I think. I don't know. I got two packs left. I got two as well. This one, I think it looked like a portrait, but I could be wrong. Oh, I canvas? think you're right. Canvas. Oh. It's just a regular canvas of Shea Theodore. He's recording us, recording him, recording, recording us. <laughs> Inception. <laughs> Recordception. Through collectible cards. Who would have thought? All right, next pack, next hit. It will Moro be Pichy. Moro Pichy, a marquee rookie of Jeffrey Vale for the San Jose Sharks. Last pack for me of this pretty good box. Let's see. So we started off pretty strong. Not bad. We have an Anton Lindell Young Gun. You selling it go. for about 30 bucks or so, 30, 40 bucks, all things depending. That's a great hit. Again, one of the we, bizarre i've opened 10 packs i this pulled another one i pulled a raymond i pulled a lindell and i'm pretty sure i pulled a ryan hartman clear cut this is making me regret just purchasing one box now weird if i knew you had all these uh this previous luck and coincidence lining up i would have gone for double super weird all right last pack of our first box of what is this 2020 21 22 series two is going to be a Dylan Strom upper deck canvas pull. Not bad. All right. Well, I think it's worth it. We're going to compile the quick hits and bring them your way. All right, guys. Quick hits coming your way. We're starting off with a clear variant of a Ryan Hartman base. Young Guns of Ivan Provitsov, Jan Yinyak, 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 Brandon Duhame, or Duhame, Benoit Olivier. You know what? This 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 year <laughs> is ridiculous. Okay, you guys need to name more Johns and Marks. This is again a little bit ridiculous. Give me John Johnson and Mark Markson. Hendrix Lapierre, Jean Loup, French variant, Canvas Young Guns of Mason McTavish, Anton Lundell Young Guns, Lucas Raymond Young Guns, and a little extra spice with the NHL passages of Steven Stamkos. Well, for one box of Series 2, pretty darn good. I'm quite happy with what we pulled out of that. Uh, Chris, we've opened a lot of Series 1 and Series 2. What do you think? This felt like a new opening that was somehow nostalgic, you know, because I got a little bit of everything that I remember from all of our Series openings, and we didn't do it for, like, months. We didn't open a Series product, yeah. which is weird, because we did Series, like, consistently for a long time. Yes, yes, yes. So this was a nice way to be introduced to a new product with having that hit of nostalgia, especially with the Dazzlers, because I think that is the first or one of the first answers I've ever pulled mm -hmm. from a collectible card mm -hmm. uh, sport thing like hockey or, mm -hmm. or basketball were the first two that I started off with. So that hits home with me. Also, I love that NHL passages uh, look. If you remember in series one, they had electromagnetic, Yeah, I think is the hit. It reminds me of that in its color scheme, how it goes one, two, three, four. Well, typically what they have is it's like um, a player that's changed teams and it'll say like each team kind of thing. Yeah. I think we got like trolled a bit with Stevens. Yeah, Stamkos. a little. Well, at the same time, I mean, I, I'm I'm happy to hit a Stamkos, and I don't think these are very common to hit. To be honest with you, probably not. I'm not even sure that they're box hits. To to be honest, but uh, but no, pretty cool. I mean, I mean, pretty good box. We hit two yeah. good rookies. We got a French young gun variant, mm -hmm. a canvas young gun of somebody who's decently notable. Uh, overall, pretty good box. Yeah, so I'm happy with it. If, if you see any uh, Series 2 out there, try your luck. Like I said, mm -hmm. I, I did a couple packs, and I, I, I hit big. And, you know, there, it's, it's a decently affordable product in a market that is just super, yeah. super, super, super expensive. You know, SPA, SP Authentic right now, for example, I think it came out at 300 a box. It might be at 400 now. And you really don't get much other than a couple of autos. And if you hit, yeah, you're laughing on a future watch auto or a future but watch patch probably auto. Very but hard. if you miss, it's a complete miss. Yeah. This, at least, you know you're getting six young guns. There's a chance of some extras. And it's a much more affordable gamble. So Series 1, Series 2, if you're just getting into it, you're trying to get into the, the hobby, give it a shot. See what you can pull. You might be surprised. But for now, we're at our packs. So we're at a time. We'll see you guys later.